Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Liv. And this is the Maki Vlog. As you may see behind us, Lucifer is back and we're super excited to tell you all about it in this video. Yeah, so we've actually had Lucifer back for a couple weeks, about two weeks. We had Blue's brother when we went to Santa Fe. If you've seen that vlog, that was Blue's brother. And then we had this really sweet overlap where Lucifer came back. We still had Blue's brother. So both Patrick and I actually had a Grabber Blue Mustang Maki. If you think one with. Grabber Blue Maki gets attention, two gets even more attention. It was, it was <laughs> I mean, funny. Surprise, People were surprise. doing double takes at the double cars. So <laughs> it was fun. We couldn't resist playing around with it just a little bit. And it was actually really awesome for me to have my own Maki to be able to take it really slow and careful and try drive with it because I'm still trying to get used to that driving with my left leg and knowing that Lucifer had just spent six weeks in the shop. It's very, very scary. <laughs> Not like I was mistreating Blue's brother, but it was kind of an extra relief, right? Yeah, it just provided a little bit of like uh I mean, it's not our own car. I mean, I, we, not that we disregard a loner car, no. but uh, it just made it a little bit different. Extra scared of this one now. <laughs> now we have Lucifer back. We did our Santa Fe trip with Blue's brother. We're getting Lucifer ready for our big California trip. We're gonna go to Vegas. We're gonna go to San Diego. Hopefully we're gonna have a meetup. So if you are in either of those areas and you're interested, please let us know. We will be swinging through there with Lucifer. We're also currently shooting a PPF, paint protection film and ceramic video. That is actually what is currently on this vehicle right now and we're doing it ourselves. <laughs> so if you are interested in DIY PPF or ceramic, those will be coming up soon. We definitely wanted to make sure that Lucifer was as protected as possible for these long trips. And we'll show you our mistakes. Yeah, so many mistakes. <laughs> On that note, Patrick is going to take you through all the repairs that Lucifer has been through to get back into fighting shape. And other updates with it. So. And other updates. Well, Patrick was going to give you his update, but it is healing now. Can you hear that occasional smash? Very sparse hill, but it's pretty good size. Yeah, we were, the camera was located outside the garage, so it would probably not survive this. So yes, Lucifer is back. We picked it up on May 21st, which is actually 44 days after we dropped it off on April 7th at Amira Ford. They had some delays in getting some of the parts like I mentioned in a previous one. Part of it was just like the bolts to keep the spoiler on. So there were some little details like that. The, the logo in the back was another one that was a hold up. So a few holdups like that, but overall 44 days, I don't think it's that bad considering you know it is such a new car and they are still just getting the part supply line sort of like filled out. But if you wanna know what the final details were for the repairs, it's basically what I gave in the last video, but we can go over a little bit more of it and, and you can take a look and see how well the car went back together. So let's see, I'm gonna bring out my phone because I can't remember all the details. So taking a look at some of the individual big things that cost a lot, the bumper cover, so there's an upper cover and a lower cover. The upper cover was $524. The lower cover was $645. The most expensive thing was the lift gate. So that's all of this here. And that was $2,381. One of the ones that I thought was a bit surprising was the arch over the wheel was $452. Sort of surprising that that arch was that much. The pony emblem, even that was expensive at $118. For some reason, even though all the, the damage was in, you know, to the lower part of the, the hatch, they had to replace the rear spoiler. That was $802. The outer tail light says $862. So I'm assuming when they say they 
outer and inner, they mean this is outer and that's inner. So that was 862 and this was 907, unless they mean like outer and inner. But I, I think this is the outside of the car and the inside. So uh, again, 862 and 907. And then of course, down below the backup light was $179. And then one of the more expensive parts on the inside that you can't see here is the impact bar. So underneath this, they have like an impact bar that absorbs the hit and that was $500. Of course, there was a bunch of other little miscellaneous parts like bolts and whatnot, but the total came out to just over $8,000 for parts just over $1,750 for labor, just under $500 for the paint, which I think they did a great job on the paint. So this is painted, this is original color, painted original color. I think it looks great, you can't tell any difference. And of course, you can't escape sales tax, that was just under $750. So again, it comes up to about $11,000, $11,153 I think it is. And that was the final bill that was submitted to insurance that they have now paid. Um, they've also reimbursed me for my rental car, so that's good. And of course I had the Model Y and then a Ford Edge. They reimbursed for those, they reimbursed for my lift ride when I uh, dropped off the car and when I picked it back up, so that's good. The only holdup, and I don't really have too much of an update, is diminished value. Um, there is a process that I now have to go through of submitting a diminished value claim, and then they will go through arbitration to try to negotiate a fair value for diminished value. What I have done, and I, I won't mention the company name right now until we get through the arbitration process, but I hired a company to do a assessment of the damage as well as the resale value of this Mach-E, and they are estimating that there's $5,500 in diminished value just because it's been an accident. And what that means is, is like if you saw this one and one next to it, like Blue's brother that we had, uh, side by side on a lot right now and wanted to buy them, how much less would this one be worth because it's been an accident? And their assessment is that it's worth 5,500 less. In Colorado, I have up to two years to file a claim to collect that. I've already submitted my uh, claim to the insurance. Hopefully we can come to a uh, decent value that we agree upon. It should be 5,500 um, or above. If they don't meet 5,500, my next alternative is to go to court. Um, I, I, I'm assuming they'll try to do some type of arbitration before we get to that point. But that's where I'm at right now. Um, I don't want to get into too many details because of the legal ramifications of all of that. And really, I don't know. I'm trying to take it one step at a time. I submitted it to the other insurance company and they said that they will start that assessment process from their point of view and then they will get back to me. And they said that could take anywhere from 30 to 60 days. So it's a long, slow process. Um, I got what I've paid out of pocket. So at least that's good. And now the next steps are trying to get the diminished value taken care of. So overall, the, the hardest part was being without our mach -E for 44 days. Like I said, I think it was a fairly short amount of time overall considering you know the amount of damage and the fact that it was new. They did a great job of keeping me informed of like where the parts were, what the holdup was. Um, so they kept me informed of, of all of that and I very much appreciated that. They did a, a very good job. I saw a Model 3, not to, to dish on uh, Tesla, but they had very similar damage to the Fastlane's Model 3 a couple of years ago and it took them three months to get their stuff repaired. So a month and a half is half the time. So not bad overall. And um, luckily we were able to have a couple of loaner mach -E's. We were able to rent a Model Y. So we kept busy, kept making videos. And uh, thank you guys for sticking with us during this repair process. Now we're uh, got a lot of stuff planned for, for this mach -E. We're going to Vegas, we're going to San Diego. We're going to the highest paved road in North America as long as the weather is good. So lots of fun stuff. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, let me point out to you as well, I set up a website called mock-e.org, mock-e.org, and it's sort of like a owner's group that we are starting up. 
invite you to come take that out. If there's not a group for your area, let me know and I'll add that in. But it looks like the hail is coming back again. So we're going to end this video. And that one was close. They're about a, a dime size. So we're gonna, we're gonna get out of here and uh, keep the car protected in the garage. So take care. What a ludicrous day.